What's up? This is Dan from TCDCmedia.com, and I'm hanging out here with Mark Rose. Hey. How you doing, man? I'm really great. Yeah? Really great, yeah. Pontiac, Michigan, huh? Uh-huh. That special. It's a little bit hot, but... Yeah, yeah, we're in the heater up here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off. Um, you're on tour with Gold Motel right now. Yes. How's that? It's great. Um, you know, the people who play in Gold Motel are all old, old friends of mine, mm -hmm. so... It's kind of cool because we're both doing something new, like Retta after doing the Hush Sound and me after doing Spitalfield. It's kind of like doing new projects together and it's fun to be back out. You guys are both from the Chicago area, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is that how you guys... Yeah, definitely. Um, and like, you know, Hush Sound and Spitalfield did a handful of dates together and just have been growing up in the same scene. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's cool to be taking that next step together. Mm -hmm. Now talking about Spitalfield, mm -hmm. you guys uh, recently played a reunion show, yeah. right? And you guys are doing another one. In late August? Yeah, the, the first one um, was, was more of a surprise thing. Uh -huh. um, uh, JD and uh, TJ from Spitalfield, they have a new band together that, um, you know, play in Chicago. They don't, you know, do, do too much touring or anything, but they were doing a show at Angels and Kings in Chicago, like a 21 hour free show, mm -hmm. and they asked me if I wanted to do like an acoustic thing beforehand. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, a few days before the show, we're like, what if after we play, we just kind of get up there and just see what happens and play a few songs? So we kind of like, let the word leak a little bit, but then played like a five song set that we had like practiced like just that, you know, a couple of days beforehand and we had a great time doing it. So we're like, you know what, let's do this for real at the end of the summer. So we're doing like, you know, a real show at a, at a full club and everything. So it should be cool. I mean, it'll be a nostalgic thing. It's kind of a one time kind of thing for us. We're not really looking to do anything else with it at okay, this point. So we can't expect any, any other shows? I, I wouldn't expect anything else just yet, no. Mm. <laughs> I, I know that this is what they're saying is like the year of the reunion. Right, yeah, yeah, I'm noticing, yeah. Yeah, so, something corporate, yellow card, the starting line just announced something. You know? Yeah, I, I don't think we'll be on that list. Oh, um, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're looking forward to the show, so it should be great. So your new sound's a little bit different from Skillfield, right? Yeah, yeah. How about you tell us about it? Um, well, the thing is that, you know, it's kind of, I'm taking that like singer-songwriter route where I kind of have a rotating door people play with me, so I do have a band, but um, it's it's kind of like a little more along the lines of what I like listen to and what I what has influenced me and like, you know, Spitalfield was definitely still my voice and a lot of my songwriting, but it was in a different setting um, with different guys that made a different sound. So um, it's, it's a little more, I guess it's a little more like pop and a little more um, a little more like bluesy and a little more guitar based um, and it's fun for me because I get to showcase a different side of what I do mm -hmm. uh, but it definitely isn't Spitalfield Part 2 so for, for people who grew up with the band it is definitely really different when they hear it um, and it's kind of a split decision with people whether or not they are excited about the stuff I'm doing now or if they just kind of wish they had the old band mm -hmm. back but I take it all with a grain of salt because you know it's to me it's um, it's the next step for me and it's the next chapter of my life mm -hmm. and um, and I'm still kind of finding my niche with it a little bit, so I have these like two EPs I released and hoping to kind of blend everything together to make a full length mm -hmm. eventually. Now you have a new EP, yeah. right? Yeah. What's that called? It's called Separate. Uh, it just came out uh, very end of June. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a six songs and it's, um, it's definitely, a, for those of you who've heard the first one, it, it's definitely the next step. A little more, a little more progressive, a little more drum heavy, a little more synth heavy, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the way with the way it's starting to shape up. Now, do you record all the instruments yourself? Um, for the most part, I do. Um, I have brought in different like session drummers and dudes mm -hmm. who played with me and stuff to play on the drum set because yeah, I could play the drums, but uh, I wouldn't call that my forte. Okay. So um, yeah, but you know, and I, and I bring in like I said, like different people for different things. Um, but it's all stuff that I'm writing and. In the studio, I do like to do a lot, you know, mm -hmm. I, between the vocals and the guitars and keys and stuff. And I bring in some other players too. Mm -hmm. So, so like, who makes up your touring band? Um, well, it's changed pretty much with every tour. Mm -hmm. uh, the particular tour I'm out with right now, we're a four-piece, and we've got um, Tony, the drummer from the Forecast. Tony yes, Peck, he's playing with me right now. Uh, my younger brother Dan is playing bass. Um, and uh, our buddy Jerry, who is actually a chemistry teacher, who's around in the summer and is a slamming guitar player. I was like, hey man, uh, you want to go on a summer tour? And he's like, yeah. Well, it's going to be cool to talk to the students about. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, I was on tour. Yeah, yeah. So it's been, I mean, I've had a lot of different people. I had Darren, uh, the drummer from the Hush Sound, was out with me mm -hmm. on the last tour I did. And it's, it's been fun. And it, it's like, I, I love how different people bring out different sides of me. And so we can play off of what the other person's doing. Mm -hmm. And it's really healthy for me, I think, to just play as much music as I can with as many people as I can as I'm figuring this whole solo thing mm -hmm. out. You know, with the solo show, uh, do you play any Spitalfield songs? Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, I, I usually don't do them with the band. Um, 
I'll play them and I, I kind of revamp them a little bit too to make them mm -hmm. a little bit different so I'm not just up there playing a rock song without a band. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do, I mean especially if the crowd is responding to that because I'm finding it's, it's really um, a city by city kind of thing with how many people that are there actually no one remembers Spitalfield versus people who are just kind of there to see what I do now. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's interesting because like, you know, in Chicago and my hometown, it's like the crowd's going to be pretty much half and half, like all new fans and all old fans. But like when I'm out and about, it's like really weighted depending on where mm -hmm. I am. So like tonight, for example, I don't really know if there's going to be people that if I said I used to play in a band called Spitalfield that are going to be into that or if it's going to be like drip, drip. And it's like, okay. Because <laughs> I don't want to like focus on the old stuff. Yeah. I want to focus on the new stuff. But at the same time, you know, uh, it's where I came from, and it's fun to kind of mess mess with those songs a little bit. I know that a lot of artists, when they start their new things, are sort of very, very opposed to not playing their old stuff. <laughs> I hate seeing that because yeah. I mean, like your old band is who you are in a sense. Right, and, right. So that's cool that you still absolutely. I mean, I new stuff. Right? Yeah, and to me, it's like it, it is it is the next thing, and that's actually part of the reason I called this record. Um, this new one, uh, Separate, because it's kind of like taking that step away from what I used to do, um, but at the same time it's not, you know, I'm not offended, and if anything I'm very humble, you know, towards mm -hmm. people who enjoyed what I used to do, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, so what do you do to keep busy on tour? <laughs> Let's see, um, I don't know, we, in, 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 the, in the tour van we do, uh, we've been playing a lot of Words with Friends, uh, the Scrabble game. Okay. Um, which is great. Uh, play some cards. Uh, follow a lot of sports. Like oh, yeah. I, I'm really into sports, so it's it's something for me to keep track of. What teams? Chicago teams? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. White Sox who are playing the Tigers here right now. We Sorry, should man. be the game right now. You, man. I know. <laughs> well, if it had been a day game, I would have been there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, skip the show. Let's go to. All right, let's go right now. Interview <laughs> over. No, yeah, the White Sox, the Bears, uh, uh -huh. the Bulls, Hawks. I mean, those what? those are all my. The teams. White Sox are making a comeback. Oh, dude, they're smoking dude, right and now. The Tigers are just. Well, they're Every, falling off a little bit. Everybody's <laughs> getting hurt. We got Magda. We just had our, um, our no-name shortstop get hurt. You know? Yeah, that's always we're, a good sign. We're, we're screwed. <laughs> that's all I'm saying, man. So, yeah, and I'm, right. I'm not saying I'm going to be rooting for Chicago, but oh yeah, yeah you guys. So. Well, if we beat the pants off you, then you should root for us so that you can be like, well, they're so good that that's why. I yeah, of them. course. That's what you got to do. Yeah. yeah. So you're not you're not a Cubs fan? No, not at all. Um, in fact. I'm, I'm pretty much an anti-Cubs fan. Ooh. I'm not a... But the thing is, it's like, I don't have as much resentment towards them. I, I, I think it's, it's fun, it's, it's a healthy rivalry, and mm -hmm. it can get ugly, and that's okay. I mean, that's, a lot of my friends are Cubs fans, so... Mm -hmm. And for their sake, may, maybe someday they'll win, and then I'll be happy for my friends. Mm -hmm. I think you're lucky, though, because you get the, the National League and the American League, you get to choose from it. Sure. I, whereas I'm stuck at the American League, I think the American League is a piece of shit, to be completely honest <laughs> with you. The, the designated hitters should be gone and it should just be... Well, we, can, we can argue about that one for yeah. a while. Anyway, back to music, right? <laughs> hey, I got, I'll talk sports with you all day. You know I mean. <laughs> so, uh, what, what's been some of your favorite tours that you've done? Um, like, like in general, or like with the new stuff? or new stuff, old stuff, whatever. Um, well, the thing is, lately I've, I've been going out and doing stuff with that's just been different. Because like with, with Spitalfield, we were kind of in, in a scene and in a niche that we, you know, did a lot of tours with a lot of bands that we were friends with and that we, you know, were in the same situation with. Um, but now that I'm doing this stuff, um, I've been out with like you know different types of acts, which has been cool. Mm -hmm. um, like I was fortunate enough to like you know do some college dates with like Third Eye Blind, which was oh, wow. insane for mm -hmm. me as a fan of theirs and just to be in front of a totally different type of audience. Mm -hmm. um, Go Motel has been fun. Of course, they're doing kind of an extension of also what they used to do, and now they're doing mm -hmm. something new. Um, this group from Chicago, Empires, was my first mm -hmm. tour, and Empires are awesome. If you haven't checked them out, you should. Um, so that's been all fine and dandy. Um, back in the Spillfield days, I think I had favorite tours for different reasons. Um, sometimes it was because of the bands we were opening for, and just from a you know musical standpoint, just being floored by them or being big fans of them. Mm -hmm. But other times it was also like being out with people that became such close friends that touring became a different kind of thing. It wasn't just playing music; it was hanging out and traveling and being with with good friends. So mm -hmm. um, one particular tour that always stands out to me was, um, I believe it was. Uh, it was spring of 2004. It was uh, the early November, Hammer City, Spitalfield, and Lindbeck. And I wouldn't have traded that tour for anything. Mm -hmm. Just the people and the music. It was a great combination. Now, you've been doing music for a long time. You know, you just said 2004. Mm -hmm. And you're a young dude, so. Yeah. I, I, when when did you start? <laughs> um, let's see. Well, Spitalfield started when I was like 14, which is, which is why, you know, I, I just turned 27 last week. Mm -hmm. um, but. 
I mean, the band, like, after after being a local band for years and then kind of doing, like, a regional thing, um, it was, like, the very beginning of 2003, the band signed and then started touring ever since. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'd say that I kind of became a full-time musician starting in 03, but I'd been playing music for years before that, mm -hmm. too. All right, so um, Separate's out now. Yeah. What can we expect in the future for Mark Rose? Um, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to touring uh, this fall as much as I can on this EP and, the, yeah, obviously this summer and this fall, but, um, you know, I'm excited to do my first, like, full length because I, I have a ton of songs written, um, but I've been trying to, like, slowly find my way um, for, you know, what really is going to be, like, Mark Rose as far as a singer-songwriter and performer because I feel like coming off of something that was such a long-term project I had to take all this time to clear my head a bit and just kind of release these EPs and kind of test the waters a little bit mm -hmm. and now I'm, I think I'm on the path to finding what I want to do so okay. um, you can expect a full length I'm not exactly sure when that'll be maybe I'll be packing up and writing and recording this thing over the winter but we'll see we'll, we'll see we'll see how the cards fall I'm not sure yet. okay well uh, you can check you out on myspace myspace.com slash mark daniel that's right. Whoever, you know, MySpace.com slash Mark Rose. <laughs> Whoever that is. No, he, he's a good guy. You know, is I've been, no, he's, he's not really. <laughs> I, I've been trying to get that from him from a long, for a long time. I mean, I've offered him cash money. And he really? Still doesn't, yeah, he doesn't want to do it. Uh, so Mark Daniel Rose would find me in MySpace. Uh, I, t I tend to use Facebook and, and Twitter mm -hmm. a bit more just because it seems more relevant and is easier to use. <laughs> of, course. Um, of course. So, yeah, Facebook is Mark Rose Music. Mm -hmm. Twitter is Mr. Mark D. Rose. And, um, yeah, check out the music. Awesome. Well, anything you want to add to say to the viewers? Um, yeah, if you made it this far, thanks for uh, watching and listening, and I hope you like the jams. Awesome.